Hi, my name is Tom Chu, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a word cloud, but I'm going to do it with kind of a twist. We're going to make it in Photoshop with a clipping mask. This is a technique that I learned from Matt Klaskowski, who's a great teacher over at NAP. If you ever get a chance to look at his work, you might want to check it out because he's a really smart guy. So here we go. First, you're going to need some words. I created a bunch inside WordPad, so I'm just going to select them all. Control A or Command A, Control C or Command C to copy them. Then I'm going to go to this program called Wordle. It's an online program. You just go to wordle.net, click on Create, paste in your letters, click Go. Now it's going to give you your word cloud. So what we want to do is randomize it until you find it the way you want. Okay, And you can change it, the layout, if you want it vertical or mostly vertical. You can change that, or you can just make it straight horizontal, and then you can change the colors. Since we're going to be working with a clipping mask, we want it to be black and white, okay? And then you can print it or do a screen grab. So when you print it, you want to save it as a PDF, and here's the one I created as a PDF. So you navigate to that, and you right-click and say, Open in Photoshop, and this is what will happen. We'll have this layer. We want to select this layer by hitting Control A or Command A on the Mac and then Control C or Command C to copy it. We'll come over to our sunflower pictures and we'll paste it in. That's Control V or Command V. And it's telling us we have a color space. We're working in sRGB. That's okay. Now we need to transform this because it's a little too big. So we'll hit Control T or Command T to transform. And you'll see the handles are below the screen that we're working on. There's a shortcut to make it fit, and that's Control Zero. Command Zero on a Mac, and it makes it fit. If you hold down the Shift key, it will constrain it, so when you resize it, it doesn't get all distorted looking. Okay, so we'll just leave that right there. And now we're going to drag this below our picture. With our picture selected, we're going to go over to Layer and Create Clipping Mask. Well, you see it didn't work because we need to cut these letters out of that white background, which is really simple to do. You click on that layer, hit Select, and Color Range. We'll go to Highlights, click OK, and now you'll see we have the marching ants around it. And it's a simple matter of hitting the Delete key. Okay. Now if we hide this background layer, you'll see that we just have the letters by themselves on that background layer. Now if we turn on our layer above you can see we have our clipping mask so if we right click and say release the clipping mask this is what it look like before we apply it so go back to layer and we'll create our clipping mask and with our white underneath we have a neat looking word cloud let's do one final touch on this to make it look better which we'll go to our effects tab and we'll do a stroke with the stroke selected I want to do it as a color and I want to select a color that's in our scene, maybe a blue. That's great. Maybe a two or three. I like a three pixel on this one. And the last thing you might want to do is a drop shadow. So we'll select our drop shadow. We'll spread it out a little bit. Create a little distance in there. Drop our opacity down just a hair. And there you have a nice word cloud. I want to thank you all for taking time to visit my blog today. And until next time, we'll see you soon.